Lev and Yaku secretly meet in the place where they first met, knowing that humans and fairies will never be friends or lovers. Lev's mother wanted him to marry the princess of the other kingdom even though Lev don't want and has objected to that marriage so he run away to have fresh air and coincidentally Yaku came to have fresh air too but he found Lev sitting and looking sad. Hey Lev, why are you sad? Is it about your mom forcing you to get married with the princess? Yaku is curious. Yes and however I beg her not forcing me to get married with that ugly princess but she won't change her mind. Lev is sad. Oh. I'm sure she wants the best for you Lev and she want to make sure that the future of your people are safe and secured with you. Yaku is trying to explain to Lev while comfort Lev. I know that but she don't have to force me to get married to that ugly princess especially I don't like her little bit. Lev felt furious. Yaku hug Lev but little did they know the queen is listening to their conversations. The queen felt guilty towards it so she used her power to teleport to the front of Lev and Yaku then smile sadly at them. Lev is so shocked why his mom doing there. Lev. Son. I'm sorry for forcing you to get married. It's for your future and for our kind. Lev's mom apologized to him. I understand you mom but please don't force us to get married even though it's our tradition and all but Elisa Neeson and I have personal decisions in our lives too. Lev tell his mom what he really feels. I know, son so I've changed my mind. You can marry whosever you want now. Lev's mom smile. Really? Lev is surprised. Yes. I heard everything you said earlier. And you're right. Do Lev's reaction. He's very happy and overwhelmed that made him hug his mother happily and tight. Yaku is just looking at them hugging. Yaku secretly stepped backwards to give them a moment but the queen saw him and stop him from getting away. Hey you. Stop right there. Lev's mom said while pointing at Yaku. Yaku stop walking backwards and he gulps because the queen looks so serious and Lev let go of his mother then look at Yaku. Ye yes yo your majesty. Is there problem? Yaku is shuddering because he's so nervous. Do you like my son? Lev's mom is so straightforward. Wa what? Yaku is shocked. What? I'm just asking. So. Morisuki, do. You. Love. My son. Yes your majesty, I love your son. Yaku answer directly. But. I'm not the right one for your son because I'm just human. Yaku have doubts. Lev is shocked when he heard the first sentence that Yaku said but his reaction changed so sudden when he heard the second sentence that Yaku said. He's sad. Lev's mom noticed her son's reaction so she stepped forward and she spoke. Don't worry about it Morisuki. Please just take care of my son okay. Lev's mom smiled genuinely. You need to marry my son as soon as possible. Bob at your majesty. Yaku is so shocked and surprised. No buts Morisuki. It's my way to act gratitude towards you and your guild master who saved my dad. Lev's mom is grateful to Yaku because she knows Yaku will love her son unconditionally. Oh okay. Yaku is confused. That's great. Also I know your royalty to Morisuki so I don't have any rights to against it. Lev's mom is so excited. Little did they know there's someone heard everything they said and that was the evil dark fairy king. He's back for good. He's smirking because he have a plan to destroy the world once again and he needs to kidnap Yaku and force Yaku to get married with him because he know Lev will be destroyed if he has Lev's only weakness and that is Yaku Morisuki but the evil dark fairy king didn't know that Yaku is not ordinary human. Yaku has light magic powers that Yaku didn't discover yet and he's so powerful if Yaku have discover his true identity and powers. That's why Yaku loves plants and medicines. Because he's the son of the holy light princess. His mother can heal any injuries or wounds and cancer or diseases before she died from cancer but she can't heal herself. Later that night, Elisa just woke up. She went out of her room to have fresh air and watching the stars outside but then suddenly she saw a very dark shadow flying towards Lev's room where Lev and Yaku sleep in but she let it go because she thought it's just Lev flying back to his room after he drink water. She just continue watching the stars and after few minutes, Lev is screaming for help, the guards rush running towards Lev's room so is the queen. As Lev opened the door, he saw his mother and the guards standing in front of his room, Lev just melt breakdown because the evil dark fairy king just abduct Yaku. The queen immediately hug her son to calm him down as soon as possible. Shush Lev, don't worry we will save Morisuki okay. 
Lev's mom tried to calm Lev down. I will kill that bastard once he lay his evil hands on my wife. I will save Morisuk no matter what. I will. Lev is angry as he cried. Elisa flying in. She have no clue what's going on right now and why Lev is crying. She's so confused as hell. What's going on here? Why is Lev crying? Elisa is confused. Where were you, Elisa? Did you know that the evil dark fairy king is back and he just abducted Morisuk while sleeping? Lev is trying to fight him but he couldn't save Morisuk. Lev's mom is panicking. No. I didn't know that. Wait I saw a very dark shadow flying towards Lev's room but I didn't call the guards because I thought it was just Lev flying. Elisa is still confused. Why didn't you check it or something? Lev shouting. I'm sorry Lev I really don't know. Few minutes ago, Lev just woke up and he was about to go out of his room to get water but he felt something's wrong surroundings and then Yaku screaming that made Lev turn around and saw the evil dark fairy king holding Yaku in the neck. Lev used his powers to attack the evil dark fairy king but the evil dark fairy king dodged it and laughed before he disappeared with Yaku. Back to the present. Lev is secretly preparing everything he need to save Yaku as soon as possible. He hide his wings under the cloak before he went to the Nekomata guild to seek for help and Nekomata is willing to help him without hesitations.